But in production, for various reasons, producers cannot cannot always be personally cannot always personally supervise all parts of their production. For example, some producers run a company which also deal with film distribution. Hello. Also, cast and the film crew often work at different times and places, and certain films require a second unit. Consequently, it's normal that the main producer will appoint the executive producer, main producer, unit production manager, representing the main producer's interest. The executive producers for uh, film, why do I work with this example? Tonight? Engage the children to produce a bit. Maybe that you pass a gun in the car. If I am responsible, they will go on a banana or something like that. But that's not the executive producer, line producer, maybe production manager. Oh, we need a good way to make the producer. But it's not what we are doing. Zero casualties. So many problems, problems. Post production. Post production. So to say, one of the post production are going to be the media editing. Among other things, the producer has the last word on whether the sound or music have to be changed. Post things have to be cut. If the shooting has been finished, the producer can still demand that additional scenes be filmed. In case of negative test screen, the producer may even demand to get an alternative film ending. This happens, for example, as to blind, in which the test audience reacted very negatively, having rainbow die, so the producer will shot an ending. Producers are also in charge of selling the film or arranging distribution rights. Producer, so 